Hello and welcome everyone to this tips and tricks video. In this video, I'll be sharing you a proper way of converting a digital PDF, okay, like this to an AutoCAD drawing. Okay, so in this video, I'll be explaining you how to get this PDF converted to an AutoCAD drawing. Now for this, uh, for, for making this option to work correctly, you need to make sure you have a PDF generated from a software. Okay, it should not be something which was uh, earlier a sketch then taken a printout and then it was scanned again and then inserted back in AutoCAD. Okay, so that is not going to work. Only digital PDFs or any graphs which is created using AutoCAD itself or any other software uh, for that matter is going to work with this particular option. Okay, and in this video, I'll also explain you how to maintain the size after the conversion because that is the second major challenge which we normally face is maintaining the correct form factor and size after conversion. Okay. After that, I will also explain you how to get some part of the object to another drawing. Okay, if it is required, uh, there are multiple ways for doing that. So this is all uh, what we are going to cover in this tips and tricks video. So first of all, I'll be starting with a new drawing file of AutoCAD in which I want to import that PDF file. So this is the first step. You need to start with a new drawing file or you can even do this on an existing drawing file. So if you already have some drawing file in which you want to get that PDF imported, you can also do it likewise. Okay, now once uh, the thing is ready. Once the drawing file is open, either a new or existing drawing file, what you have to do is you have to type ER enter. That is for external reference. Okay. We have to type ER enter. That is for external reference. Now, if in your PC, ER enter doesn't work, you can also type XR enter. That is again for external reference, or you can also type XREF. Okay. Any which ways you want. So as of now, I'm going to type ER enter for external reference. Okay. And we will get this dialog box. Now, a proper note here this particular option which i'm explaining you is going to work only in autocad 15 and above so if you are using autocad 15 and above uh, you can follow along this particular option is going to work because this is a native or built-in option inside autocad there are still other websites uh, there are some online conversion tools i'm not uh, really i cannot specify about their design privacy uh, you know other related things their design will not get leaked and all yeah but i cannot I cannot totally say or I cannot totally make any comment about that, but particularly there are multiple ways of doing this or achieving this. Now for now, I am using the way which is there inside AutoCAD 15 and above. So here I am using this option called attach. Okay. And here next to attach drawing or DWG, we have an arrow. If I click on this arrow, I will get an option of attaching a PDF. So if I click on attach PDF, it will ask me to browse for the file. Now let's say I have multiple files here. For example, like there are multiple files. So I'll select this testing file here. Okay. Which I'm going to insert inside my AutoCAD drawing. Okay. So I'll be selecting the file first. Then I'll click on open. Generally here you can select which all pages you want to import. So if your file contain multiple pages, you can import it or you can define it from here. Like which all pages you want to import page number one, two, three, etc. You can do that by pressing control. If your file has one page, like the file I'm using, so you don't really need to worry about uh, managing the number of pages here. Normally I keep this option on that is I want to specify where exactly I want to place it on screen. And by putting the scale to one, this will be inserted in a A4 size sheet format. So here if I click OK, now you can see my drawing is there inside AutoCAD, but it's like a PDF format. Okay. so. Here we can see the line length uh, in PDF, it is showing 37. We will come to the sizing part after some time. Now, once I get a PDF inside AutoCAD, I want to convert this to lines, rectangles, circle, whatever different type of objects we have inside AutoCAD. I want to convert this into those objects. Okay. So now the next task is getting the PDF converted to normal object. So for that, I'm going to select the boundary of the PDF. Okay, I'm going to select the boundary of the PDF and here we will have a new tab called PDF underlay. Once you have this tab called PDF underlay, you have to click on this option called import as object. Okay, you have to click this, click on this option called import as object. So once you click on import as object option, it will ask you what part of the object you want to import. So you want to import the entire objects. In that case, you can click on all. Okay, if you want to import certain part, you can create a box and import it. There are some settings in which you can also decide whether text should get imported, dimension should get imported or not. For now, I'll keep it to all. So I'll click on all. Then whether I want to, uh, now it is asking me what I need to do with the original PDF. So whether I want to keep the PDF 
okay or i want to detach or i want to temporarily unload the pdf now once my importing is done i don't really want to keep my pdf here for that i can click on detach okay now once i do that now you can see that boundary is gone now depending upon the performance of your system it might take few seconds like the way it does for me or it might take few minutes also but you will be greeted with a progress bar which will show you the progress you know what is happening actually if it is taking longer than usual so now here we can see my autocad or a pdf file is imported inside autocad and if i click on the geometry you can see it's a simple set of polylines it's a rectangle and different form of geometries we have we also have text here some lines here okay so we have different geometries okay now if your pdf was containing some layers so it also has some layers here for example this pdf 0 is basically the zero layer of autocad drawing this pdf dimension is the dimension layer this pdf text is the text layer so there are multiple layers as well which you can control but only if your drawing contains some layers okay you will find this over there otherwise don't worry about it nothing is going to change now let's say i'll just turn this things off okay now uh, basically this line length is supposed to be 37 the length of this line is 37 let's measure okay so i'm using different dimension tool to measure okay and for now for my good luck it is showing me 37 okay so for my very good luck it is showing me 37 because it was in the correct scale i believe so so let's say the drawing was not in the correct scale okay it is let's say three times smaller or bigger or whatever the condition may be so in this case the size will not be correct okay if i see here the sizes are not correct okay so they are very small or very big or too far away from the original size in that case what i can do i can pick a size which is relatively easier uh, for calculation for example 10 or 20 are relatively easier or smaller values so then what i can do i can measure out what is the actual value so here it is saying in place of 10 now it is 3 okay in place of 10 now it is 3 so it is almost 70 percent smaller and for me it is very easy to calculate so how to calculate the scale factor for that i will activate calculator now here what i want the size it should be 10 okay divided by the current size is 3 so once you do that you get 3.3333 like twice uh, in the input form so what i can do if i got the size here i can simply go to scale sc enter okay so this is how you can scale the object scale then select the object which you want to scale so in this case this entire object i'll specify the base point somewhere here now i want to scale it by three point you can only put three eight times one two three four five six seven eight okay so now it is scaled up by three point three 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 likewise now here if i now measure so this value is now 10 so now this is very accurate and very precise okay so this is how you can import a file inside autocad from pdf okay and get it to match the original scale sized okay now next thing is let's say i want this rectangle and certain part of the drawing in a new drawing likewise for example i have a new drawing here and i want some part of that object inside the another window so what i can do is i can simply select okay select the object which you want to copy or you can press this keyboard short key okay i'll explain i'll write it in the notepad itself that is control plus shift plus p so sorry control plus shift plus c this option is known as copy with base point okay this option is known as copy with base point so what i can technically do is i can press control shift c now it is asking me the base point i'll define here and now it is asking me to select the objects so i'm selecting all this object which i want to copy and i'll press enter so now it has been copied to the clipboard so it is no longer associated with autocad now the object is copied to the clipboard and clipboard belongs to windows now once the object is copied to the clipboard you can go and move to the new drawing and then you can type or press Control plus v okay that is the shortcut for paste so here i'll go back to a new drawing file i'll press Control plus v and here you can see i'm pasting it there is one more way of doing the same thing the easiest way is to use save as you can simply save this drawing with a different name in a different location 
and then delete the part which you don't want to have okay as simple as that but uh, if you want to create a new drawing only with some portion of the previous drawing this is the easier one easier method okay so you can decide which method you want to use to do that i hope this answers all your questions related to how to get the pdf inside autocad and also get you know drawing from one file to another okay so i hope this will answer all your questions thank you very much have a great day ahead